Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back once again to another video talking about the first descending yet again. So I've been reading a lot of comments and I get asked quite a lot of what I would think personally. It'd be very basic questions about the game. However, I've pretty much no life this game now since it got released, which I know there's people much further on than me. However, every spare moment I've got has been playing this game. I've got a full-time job, got a real job, single dad to Isaac, um, full-time carer. So yeah, I have a lot going on. So yeah, let's talk about some of the things which I think that most people who at least watch my channel regularly want to know because there's a few misconceptions. People, like I've said before, the glass cannons, they're complaining about not being able to do the colossi battles. So let's just kind of go over what my thoughts are. Kind of tips and tricks type video. However, I think there's going to be a period of time where the newer players who don't really know much are going to go away because they're going to watch videos like mine on the internet. And like I say, my video might not be great, but, you know, it is what it is. There's great YouTubers out there making content for the first descendant, but I'm going to tell you what I find is important on this game. So... Obviously, you get weapons, you level them up. We all know that. You know you know the basic mechanics by now. But what I want to talk about specifically is Descendant modules. And something I found out as well recently is that the shields on this game are just terrible. You should not be putting any points in shields. You know, max shields, avoid it. It's not worth it. The regen rate takes way too long to build your shield up, especially when your shield starts getting to a higher amount because the shield regen rate, it doesn't matter if you've got 100 shield or 1,000 shield, the shield regen rate does not scale based on the amount of shield you have. So it'll tick up three or four a second, even if you've got 100 or even if you've got 1,000, it's still the same take. It takes way too long. They need to rework that in the game. So basically what you want to do is just have this module on. There is other HP modules, but ultimately, whatever HP modules you've got, like increased HP, you should get this just playing the game anyway. There's a lot more HP modules what you can have, you know. They don't make as much of a difference to your HP as this one, but nonetheless, you want to stack as many HP modules as you can. And then after HP, you want to make sure you get Regeneration Boost, which whenever you pick a red um, health orb, which is like a little box is what drop on the floor and it has a red cross on it You can't miss them every time you pick one of those up. You're gonna get uh, more health now I've put 10 points into this so it is less than 19.1 But it's still worth having even when it's on its um, basic. Um, is it four or five points? Um, I don't know off the top of my head You're gonna want as much as you can in those you're gonna want resistances you're going to want, what else is the, um, agony. I like having agony on. Again, other people will have other defensive mods on. I like having agony because it gives me a bit more max, um, MP. So I don't run out of, um, MP. And it also gives me a massive 40% boost defensively. So if I was to sum it up, what you want to be prioritizing, obviously it's fun to have, you know, massive skill damage, massive crit chance modifiers, you know, so you're doing loads and loads of damage, but you're going to die a lot. And especially if you're playing this game solo, <laughs> even on the Colossi battles, it obviously match makes you with other people because there's no, like, noise what happens, like teammate down or something like that. If they're stood behind you, you've got no idea they've got downed. There's no audio um, notification system on this game at present. So you want to make sure you're going to be able to survive. Because if you're down, you're not doing damage, guys. So if I was to say, obviously you want to have a bit of skill power damage. You don't want to be weak as anything. But again, you can make your gun really, really powerful. And that doesn't affect your descendant modules. So if, if, if I was to give you any bits of advice here today. Number one, HP modules. Stack them up. Number two defensive modules, so they're called DEF, short for defense, you want to stack those up. And then after you've stacked those two up, get the health regeneration so you actually get more health back. Because the thing is, guys, you see, the whole thinking behind this is, because the shield takes so long to recharge, it's easier and more economical 
to actually just kill loads of enemies, pick up the red orbs, because you get more health by instantly, and this is going to be the best way to play until you actually get to the point where they do the first patch, because shields at the moment, completely useless. Unfortunately, it's a bit annoying now, because the game, you keep on getting danger, danger, and like that noise where your shields have been broken, it's annoying. I don't care if my shields are being broken, because I'm stacking HP, it doesn't really matter. Maybe get rid of that audio cue, unless you've got like 20% health left or something. But that's kind of what I'd do. Obviously, you want to have your gun as powerful as possible. I don't really want to talk about the Descendant modules where you've got numbers there. You know, there's people talking, you know, in a lot more detail than what I can. I've actually done a beginner's video, which is 30-odd minutes long, which actually explains this. I'm only making this video because a lot of people say, oh, I'm dying too easy. Everything kills me. Obviously, what I've talked about today, you want to do that. But if you're going in areas where you're too low level, or you're trying to do a Colossi, and he's just destroying you, or it's destroying you, I should say, maybe go away, do some more missions, then come back. Obviously, a lot of the Colossi battles stop you from progressing in the story. Well, if that's the case, go and do some operations, stuff like that. You get a lot of XP, you get a lot of better weapons. Well, you level up quicker, and obviously, until you get to level 100, everything increases anyway as you do the activities. So that is the best advice I can give you if you're a new player and you're dying a lot and you may be getting a bit frustrated. So if you want to see more videos like this from me on the channel, please leave a like. Let me know as well what your favorite descendant is because I'm still seeing a lot of bunnies running around, which I think bunnies a good character. I actually enjoyed getting it to level 40. Probably the most enjoyable one I've had now, but it just seems that everybody just wants to play bunny and nobody else. Maybe because you can get bunny through the game pretty easily and a lot of the other descendants, you've either got to pay for them or you've got to grind and the game's not been out long enough yet to grind. A lot of people are complaining about the game being too grindy. We all know what it is. It's a free-to-play Korean game. What did you expect it going to be? It's going to be a grind. Um, and I don't see that as a valid criticism that the game's too grindy or the microtransactions are too expensive. Nobody's forcing you to play the game. I enjoy this game. And a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm just... I've just been paid by Nexon to say good things about this game. No, I've not had a penny off anybody. I've not been told anything. If you look at my videos on my channel, I've been critical about video games for 10 years it makes a nice change for me to actually be positive about a video game I'm enjoying. So yeah, First Descendant, brilliant game. Yes, it's not perfect. If you want to watch one of my videos where I talk about every single problem in the game, there'll be a little pop-up on your screen right there now. Click on that and go and watch that video where I moan about everything wrong with the game, but it's critical feedback. That's all it is. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos on the First Descendant, leave a like and yeah, let me know what character, well, what descendant you prefer using. Love you all. Take it easy. Thank you for watching, my friends. Goodbye for now.